What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body strength and muscle building workout. You'll need a pair of dumbbells for this routine, and the weight that you choose is completely dependent on your fitness level. You'll also want to keep a chair, bench, or box handy for a couple of the exercises. Follow along with me for the standard moves. And follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get into it. All right, let's get started with a quick warm up. The first one on the list today is gonna be an alternating thumb up. Start with your arms out to your side and one thumb up, one thumb down. Now we're just gonna alternate which one is on top and which one is on bottom. This is a great one to get a little mobility in your biceps, chest, and shoulders before we get started here. And the purpose of this warm up it's just to gain a little extra mobility and flexibility and at the same time raise your overall body temperature and prepare it for this workout. Let's do this one for just five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, next we're gonna move into a move that's great for your posterior chain as well as your shoulders. We're gonna do a hamstring arm circle. So we're gonna place one leg out onto that heel, sweep those arms out, and at the same time bend over. Feel that stretch in your backside. On the way up, we're gonna alternate which foot is in front, switching it up, big stretch. Every time get a nice full arm swing with your shoulders and at the same time feeling that stretch in your hamstrings glutes, lower back. You can really feel that isolation of that lead leg. Try to keep that back straight on this one. And depending on your flexibility, you may be going down further than us, not as far as us, totally okay. Just make this workout your own today and that includes the warm up. And this is just the warm up, so we are moving at a relaxed pace right here be plenty of time for some real work coming up momentarily. Let's keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, shake them loose. Moving on to a march in place plus an upright external rotation. So two moves in one here, getting a little efficiency in, keeping the uh, 90 degree angle at both elbows and your underarms and then bring those knees up ideally until your upper thigh is parallel to the ground but you can't quite get it that high it's all right again making this routine your own feel those shoulders loosening up Maybe oh yeah a little those burn in there nice and warm now oh yeah For okay those three movements speaking of which we're going to keep the march but now we're going to move into an arm crossover so go ahead and keep marching this one's a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your belly like you got to coordinate <laughs> <laughs> two different things at the same time. It's gonna work your brain a little bit too. Alternate which arm is on top on this one. And again, it's a great one to loosen up those shoulders and your chest and back. Breathe. Do this one for just 10 more seconds then we're getting into that workout. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, on to the workout. Today's workout is designed around short, quick, complementary supersets. We're gonna go back and forth between two movements. The first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a squat plus curl. So with your dumbbells at your side, feet are shoulder width apart, we're gonna sit back with our weight in our hips, perform a squat. And on the way up, we're gonna use those legs and biceps to help curl the dumbbells up, curling our pinkies in, and return and repeat. We're doing 12 repetitions of this one. Make sure you have an appropriate weight. All right, let's get it going. In three, two, one, begin. Weight goes back in your hips. Always break at your hips first and then at your knees while performing a squat. Keep your back straight on this one. Head up, chest up. 
head in line with your spine. And as you drop down into the squat, make sure your arms are by your legs, not out in front of you. Yep, you want those arms really like in line with your heels and your feet, not out in front of you. It's a great point. It's a great efficient move, work on our legs and arms at the same time. Again, 12 repetitions in total, making sure to keep that back up and straight and not bending over like so, but instead really focus on keeping that chest up. Two more. Keep those knees out on your squat as well. Last one right here. And zero, good. I'm gonna switch up my weight for this next one. You can keep your weight the same if you need to. Moving into a bent over row. Again, we're gonna perform 12 repetitions. On this one, we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a little bit of a twist on this one, bent over row with a twist. So bent literally. over, literally 45 <laughs> degree angle on that back. Palms are facing you to start. But as we row, we're gonna twist those hands and palms are gonna face forward. Twist back. All right, we have 12 repetitions in total. Let's get it going in three, two, one, begin. Pull back from those elbows and squeeze your back up at the top on every rep. Have that back nice and straight on a 45 degree angle. And this one, you're probably gonna feel it in your legs as well on this one, just to go ahead and hold and maintain that solid foundation and base. Anytime we're rowing, really focus on pulling back from those elbows. Good. You have two more. Finish strong, everybody. Last one right here. And zero, good. All right, we're going back to that squat plus curl. I'm gonna keep my weight, but I'm gonna set them down, shake up my hands a little bit. And the more of these types of workouts you do, the better you'll get at determining what's an appropriate weight for you. Yes. So again, feet are shoulder width apart on this one, hands are at our side. Weight goes back in those hips. Let's get it going in three, two, one, zero. Weight back in the hips. And as we stand, curl, bringing those pinkies in. Nice. Once we hate to hit that eight to 12 repetition marker, that's when you really start to feel that lactic acid or that burn kick in. And it's important to remember, that's just that muscle fuel that your muscles are using. It creates that nerve response. You don't have to listen to that burn. We're gonna fight through it today, pushing past it together, rep by rep right here. Nice. Feeling both my legs and my arms on this one. I don't know which one's burning more. Feels good though. Two more. Come on, let's get it going. Keep those knees out on that squat. And last one. Zero. Excellent. Okay, we're going back to the row. I'm gonna lighten my weight just a little bit for this one. We got another 12 repetitions. Feet are shoulder width apart, bent over 45 degree angle. And let's get right into it. Pull back from those elbows. Squeeze your back up at the top. Good. Feel those lats engaging. Squeeze that back every time. Really emphasize it. Not using momentum. Nice and under control. If you want to build muscle and strength, you got to move weights with control and not just that momentum. Two more. Good. Almost there. Last one. And zero. Nice work. We're going to get this next superset started with a hip hinge. We both need our dumbbells. I'm going to do the Bulgarian hip hinge version. So I have my bench ready to go and I'm going to place my back foot up on that bench. And I'm gonna do the kickstand hip hinge where I have my body weight on one leg while extending one foot, one foot length behind me. With a slight bend in that lead leg, we're gonna drive our hips back, keep our back straight, bend down, reach to about mid shin, and then come back up, squeezing those glutes up at the top. We're doing eight repetitions on each leg. You should probably start with the lighter weight and work your way up. Yep, see how that feels. All right, let's get it going in three, two, one again just a slight bend in that lead leg go ahead and bend over at those hips using them as a hinge and squeeze those glutes up at the top this move does a great job of isolating that one leg makes you work those legs unilaterally 
Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Halfway through. And in your glutes. And then at the top, squeeze those glutes. Excellent, nice and controlled on this one. And if you're having trouble keeping balance, find a focal point, something to keep your eyes on. It'll help you keep balance. Last one right here on this side. Excellent, okay, let's switch sides. We have eight repetitions on that next side, into position, right into it. Here we go and begin. Again, nice and controlled. This Bulgarian version is a little harder. Just gonna put a little more emphasis and weight on that lead leg. You decide which move is right for you. Keeping that back straight. Your head in line with your spine on the way down. And staying under control. Not a race on this one, as you can tell. This one's working the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, and your grip even just to maintain and hold on to those dumbbells. Two more. Excellent. Also working your balance and stability. Last one, here we are. Ooh, I'm filling in that stationary leg for sure. And zero. Okay, no weights needed for the next one. You can set those down, but we are gonna need your chair, bench, whatever it is you're using. Next, we're moving into a bench dip. I'm gonna do a little harder version with my legs out straight. And I'm gonna have my legs bent at about a 90 degree angle. Doing full range of motion all the way up, all the way down for 12 repetitions. And three, two, one, begin. Dropping our body until those elbows get to about a 90 degree angle. Control the way up and the way down. Excellent. Again, on this one, we don't wanna just drop the hips. Really wanna focus on bending at those elbows, working those triceps. Shouldn't be using your legs on this one. Said letting the chest, shoulders, and triceps take the lead. Two more. Here we are, last one. Zero, good. All right, upper body's gonna get a, br a break here. We're going right back into the legs. Grab your dumbbells for that hip hinge. If you're gonna increase your weight, of course, now's the time to do it with the hip hinges, which I think I'm gonna do a little bit. Ah, my weight was good, I'm gonna keep it the same. Again, you decide what's right for you. All right, here we are. Eight repetitions each leg in three, two, one, zero. And you may have noticed our technique today. While one group of muscles is working, the other group is resting. So on this one, legs are working while the upper body's resting and vice versa. Allows us to keep up a good pace, but at the same time, allows individual muscle groups to get enough of a recovery in between sets where we're able to use good weight. Two more. Squeeze those glutes up at the top, guys. Well, two more on this side, I should say. Here we are, our last one. And zero, excellent. Okay, switching sides now. Right into it. No downtime, let's go. And as this workout progresses, gets harder, and you become more and more tempted to hit that pause button and to move on, it's important that you remember what brought you here today to begin with. What is it that you're working on? Stay focused on it, what's your why? Let that lead your way, let that lead your thoughts. We're not just here for fun, even though it is fun. Two more. Working towards a goal with every rep. Last one. And zero, excellent, okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Setting those dumbbells down. Make sure to use your legs when you do so. Yep. Back to our dips. Again, full range of motion on these. Legs are resting, upper body's working. Into position, and three, two, one, hit it. Again, nice, full range of motion. You got it. What'd you come here for today, Hesfit Tribe? What is it? Trying to get more fit, gain muscle, gain strength, just get better at kicking life's butt, whatever it is, stay focused on it. We're right there with you, rep by rep. Two Whew. more. Fight through that burn, everybody. Fighting through it. Excellent. Last one. Zero. Nice. We have another upper lower body split superset coming at you. We only need one dumbbell for the first one. And actually, 
I'm going to go a little lighter on yeah, this particular move. Yeah, we're both going pretty light. Just fair warning. We're going to get down and onto the floor into a high plank position or a push-up position. I'm going to be on my feet for this one. And I'm going to be on my knees for this one. So with that one dumbbell, we're going to maintain a good high plank position with our abs tight, back straight. We're going to pull up from the elbow. Now keeping that upper arm parallel to your body, we're going to perform a tricep kickback. Now the rest of your body just stays nice and stabilized. We're doing eight on each side. Again, choose a probably a pretty light weight for this one until you start to feel comfortable. All right, let's get it going here. And three, two, one, and zero. So on this one, really focusing on only bending at that elbow joint, not trying to swing your entire arm, but instead focus on that tricep and isolating it. Two more. Shoulders, abs, and core all half to stabilize. That was the last one on this side, so. All right, I'm staying up. One arm down, other arm on that, other hand on that dumbbell, and right into it, and begin. Good. Eight repetitions, each arm. Keep a slight bend in the arm that's holding you up in that elbow. Good. Squeeze that tricep up at the top. Seven, and here's your last one. And eight. Eight. Whew, excellent. Okay, we need two dumbbells for the next one. We're doing either a reverse lunge or a split squat, so a lower body move mm -hmm. on this one. Dumbbells are gonna be at our sides. We're gonna do eight repetitions on each leg. I'm gonna step back and do a reverse lunge, drop down, and pause. And I'm actually gonna stay in a split squat stance and drop down and pause and come right back up. So it's a one 1,000 pause on every rep. You decide if you wanna do the reverse lunge or the split squat. Eight reps each leg, let's go. And begin. One 1,000, back up. One 1,000, back up. Now you got it. Trying our best to drop both knees until they're at about a 90 degree angle. Trying our best not to allow that front lead leg to pass too far over our foot. Good posture that on this number one. number six. Last two. Good. And one, okay. If you're doing the split squat, switch it up. Doing the reverse lunge, just stepping back with the opposite foot. And begin. Good posture. Shoulders are back. Chest is up. Not bent over. Again, this one's all about that time under tension. Letting those muscles take over. And not our joints, cartilage, bones. Good. Three more. You got it. Stay strong, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Here we go. Here we go. That's seven. Last one. Make it count. Excellent. Okay. Moving on to the high plank tricep kickback. Only one dumbbell. Starting to feel it, everybody. Me too. <laughs> We're feeling it too. We're right there with you. Let's hit the floor. Get into that high plank position. You decide if you want to be on your feet or on your knees, but either way, don't stop moving. Getting into ready position. Pull that dumbbell back and begin. Eight repetitions. Nice and controlled. Yes, it'd be a lot easier to just allow that dumbbell to fling back and forth, but don't do it. Control it. Two more on this side. Squeeze that tricep. And last one. Nice work. All right, dumbbell down. Stand up. Opposite side, keeping those abs engaged. And begin. This one's working your triceps, chest, shoulders, abs, all getting hit on this one. A very efficient move. Three more. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Seven. And eight. There you go. Excellent. All right. Ooh, nice one. Come on. Keep it up, Hester Tribe. Keep that. Get that energy up right here. <laughs> okay. Both dumbbells needed for the next one. Use those legs to pick them up. Reverse lunge or split squat. Emphasizing that paw. <sighs> here we go. And three, two, one, begin. Nice, one 1,000 paws on every rep. This one's working your hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, all getting hit, working together and synchronizing to make this move happen. You got three more. One 1,000. Excellent, you got it, come on. 
Ooh, last one right here. My glutes are burning. Eight. Ooh. All right, switching Ooh. it up, opposite side. Right into it, begin. Come on. Don't stop when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. Finish strong, everybody. Here it is. What brought you here today to begin with? What made you come find this video? Hit that play button. Keep it in your mind. Don't lose sight of it. Excellent. Two more. Almost there. Woo, last one right here. Zero. Nice work. Excellent. For our next superset, we're gonna do an antagonistic push-pull grouping. The first one is gonna be a dumbbell reverse fly. Again, probably recommend you choose a lighter weight for this move. We're doing 12 repetitions in total. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle. Keep that back straight. Now I want you to bend those elbows, act like we're wrapping our arms around and hugging a tree. Now keeping that same bend in your elbows, pull those arms apart, squeeze the middle of your back, maintaining that same elbow bend. Control is important on these. It is. 12 repetitions, let's get it going. Three, two, one, begin. On this one, I like to pretend like somebody has their finger stuck right in the middle of my back and I'm squeezing their finger using my back muscles. Again, controlling the way up and the way down. Doesn't take a lot of weight to work on this one. Definitely not. It's a great one for your rhomboids, rotator cuffs. Three more. Here we are, squeezing that back up at the top. And last one. Excellent. Oh, nice work. You know, that's one that you can cheat on if you allow yourself to. Yes, you can. Gotta stay under control. Moving to the floor for the next one. Little combo move here. We're doing a fly plus hollow body. So we're gonna get our abs involved. So on this one, I'm gonna have my arms straight up. First move I'm gonna do is bring my chin and upper back up off the ground and hold. Now I'm gonna bring my legs up off the ground and keep them straight. And for the modified version, I'm having my knees, or I have my knees bent and my chin tucked to my chest. So now keeping a slight bend in those arms and elbows, we're gonna open up, perform a fly, stretch that chest, and then squeeze it. All right, we got 12 repetitions. If you're ready to go, we are too. And begin. Key on this one is to keep that lower back flat on the ground. So if you're having trouble doing that, then it's time to move to a more bent knee position. And the more you straighten those legs out, the more you're gonna get your abs involved and the harder it's gonna be. It's the halfway point right there, six more. Stretch that chest and then squeeze it up at the top. Maintaining a slight bend in your elbows throughout. This one's working your chest, shoulders, and abs all at the same time. Good. And you have your last one right here. Whew, excellent. Uh -huh. Already feeling the burn on that first set. All right, moving into that reverse fly. Not much downtime. While that chest and abs are breaking, we're gonna work our back. So again, bend over 45 degree angle, wrap those arms around like you're hugging a tree, and now let's pull arms apart. Begin. 12 repetitions. Not only controlling the way up, but also controlling the way down. Definitely easier just to allow the dumbbells to flop and fly down but don't do it. Halfway point. Hold on guys, come on. Stay strong. You got it. Pushing through every repetition. Learning to love that burn. Two more. You're stronger than that burn right here. Last one. Ah, excellent. All right, to the floor. One more time. Working that chest and core. Hollow body dumbbell fly. See if I can get into a spot where I'm not flying into the wall here. All right, arms are up straight, legs are out in front of you. Tuck that chin into your chest, shoulder blades off the ground, and begin. Stretch that chest, squeeze that chest. You got it. Again, trying your best to keep that lower back glued to the ground. And maybe you did the first set with your legs straight, and now you need to bend your knees. Whatever it is, just keep moving modifying this workout to meet your individual needs. Come on, let's go. Come on. It's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. Right here, putting in the work, rep after rep. 
two more left. Here we go. That's it. Stay strong. Last one. Last one. And zero. Excellent. Come on, girl. Huh. Whew. Nice work Whew. out there. We're going to move into a light cool down next. And the purpose of this cool down is to allow our heart rates to come down slowly and get a little bit of flexibility, mobility working at the same time. Yes, yeah, so if you're still on the ground, get up slowly. Yep, no race. No race. We're moving into a chest opener. Gonna loosen up our chest, shoulders, and back. Can we take your fingers and interlock them behind your back? Now we're gonna pull those hands back as you press your chest forward and get a big stretch. Ooh, just a, a static hold. Just a static hold. If you need more of a stretch, you can bring those arms up overhead and continue to pull back. You decide which variation is right for you. Just take nice, slow, deep breaths. Focus on bringing that heart rate down in a nice, controlled manner. Excellent. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Again, coming up nice and slow. All right, our shoulders got a lot of work in today. We're going to stretch those out next. We're going to do an upright row plus an upright external rotation. Bring those elbows up, flip those hands over, and reverse. So pull up from the elbows, and then bring the hands back, keeping your upper arms parallel to the ground, and then reverse it, heading in the opposite direction. Good. It's a great one for those rotator cuffs. Practicing that full range of motion. Also a good one to improve your posture, especially if you're spending a lot of time seated, staring at your phone or in the car. It's a good one to counteract that. Good. Again, control pace. Not a race on this one. The workout's done. Good. Good point, Coach Kozak. <laughs> workout's done. All right, on this last one, elbows up. Pull the hands back, and now we're just gonna hold. Keep pulling those hands back. Try to have a 90 degree angle at the elbows and the underarm. Your upper arm is parallel to the ground. We're just gonna hold, pulling those hands back, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake them loose. All right, let's move to the floor for one more. Slowly going to the floor. Legs are out in front of us, feeling good. All right, we're gonna do a toe touch or the best that we can, trying to keep our knees down on the ground. We're gonna reach as far as you can, whether that's to your toes or just close to it. And then we're gonna come up, all the way up, arms overhead, and then pull those elbows straight down. So we go toe touch or toe reach, and then arms are up, and pull down from those elbows into a scarecrow. Elbows come down, reach, turn, big reach, up overhead. Again, nice and controlled. And hopefully getting a little further on that reach with every rep. This is a great one for your overall posterior chain, calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back, all getting a nice stretch on this one. Everything got a good workout today, so. Yes, it did. We're feeling it too. Should take a second here to be proud of what you've achieved so far today. If we're working out, we're easy. Everybody be fit. But it is not easy. That's what makes you so special for showing up. And that's what's going to make you even more special when you show up and do it again tomorrow. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is it. That's a wrap. Ah, that's a wrap. You made it. You can sit down on the ground, come up on your feet, whatever you'd like, grab some water. Thank you so much for working out with us today. Please support our mission to keep these great workouts free by checking out and donating at our Patreon page, downloading our app, or by picking up a t-shirt or my new book, Stay Fit for Life, at the HasFit store. And if you enjoyed this workout with us today, we ask that you give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. 
I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.